to begin by acknowledging that we're on the unceded traditional territory of the Musqueam, the Tsleil-Waututh, and the Squamish peoples. Uh, it is a pleasure to be here, and I'm bringing you greetings from Premier Pillay. Uh, I want to just say quickly a thank you to Cambridge House for VRIC, and in particular to the Yukon Mining Alliance and Anne and her crew for uh, putting on our uh, Yukon Pavilion, our, and, and can I just get a show of hands? How many folks here are not from the Yukon? Just raise your hand if you're not from the Yukon. Okay, and of all of you folks, how many of you have been to the Yukon? Raise your hand if you've been. Okay, so if you haven't been to the Yukon, can you just raise your hand for me? Oh, so there's a few, oh, there are a few. Okay, well, I, hi, everybody. Uh, to those of you who are from the Yukon, you'll know that uh, Yukoners love the Yukon. Uh, it, we, we just, it, we, we're, we're very proud of where we're from. And if you visited the Yukon, I hope you drank some water from the Yukon River because uh, one of our First Nations stories is that you'll come back. And if you haven't been to the Yukon, please come. It is a, a beautiful place. Uh, let me just take a quick moment to talk about mining investment, resource investment in the Yukon. There's three reasons that I want to give you about why it is a great place to invest, and they are the past, the present, and the future. So just for a second, Anne mentioned that this year is the 125th anniversary of the Yukon, and it has been mining the whole time. Mining is our biggest industry. It is by far, it, it's always been going on. It, it, it started with gold, but it has expanded into critical minerals, and, uh, and, and it's, it's a long history. This year as well, 2023, is 50 years, the 50th anniversary of a document called Together Today for Our Children Tomorrow. And that marked the transition of First Nations moving towards self-government. So we have decades of mature self-government First Nations with self-governing agreements, with land claim agreements, with a very robust relationship with the Yukon government. So it is a jurisdiction that is quite different from many others across Canada. What's our present like? Well, we've got a solid present. Fraser Institute put us in the top 10 for mining jurisdictions uh, around the world uh, this past year. Our GDP is hot, hot. We, it, it, was, it, it grew by 10% in 2021, and nearly half of that was due to mining. We've got 25 of the 31 critical minerals on Canada's list. We've got the best transportation network and energy, hydroelectricity grid, islanded grid, north of 60. It is just, it's, it's just a very good place for mining and investment in general. What about our future? I think our future's bright. And there's a couple reasons, and I'll just give them to you quickly. The first one is that we're investing in reconciliation. Right now, and, and just one simple example, is right now, we are rewriting our mining legislation, both, both our plaster and quartz legislation, and we're doing it collaboratively with First Nation governments. So they're all at the table working with us. And I just at Roundup last week, if any of you were there, we were, uh, I, I met with the uh, Grand Chief of the Council of Yukon First Nations, and our core steering committee working on new mining legislation, and they reiterated that it is critically important that we have the mining industry at the table with us as we develop that legislation, which is a great sign for me. And thank you to industry. If, if there's any of the Yukon folks here that have been at that table, thank you for all of your hard work. And we're not just investing in reconciliation, we're investing in infrastructure. We've got money. To, that we have earmarked to go towards roads. Uh, and, and we've got, so it's, it's called the Gateway Project. There are dollars there. We haven't unlocked it yet, but we see that the feds may be downturning in some of their investment across Canada. We're going to be able to use that money during that time. And just this past week, the Premier asked me to get out and talk about our interest to connect the Yukon grid to the BC grid. I know he's had conversations with Premier Eby, uh, we're about to have conversations with First Nations to talk about that grid connect, but that will unlock huge amounts of potential, mineral potential. 
So <clears throat> I think our future is bright and we believe that mining is critical to our transition to a green future and we believe it's critically important that we get mining right. And I just wanna give a shout out to the industry in the Yukon because the industry has been all over ESG and working super progressively and that's the way we wanna go. So if you uh, enjoy the reception this evening, if you want to uh, grab my ear or uh, Deputy Premier uh, McLean's ear, there she is right there. Jeannie, just wanna raise your hand. So uh, please come and talk to us. We'd love to talk to you. Uh, have a great rest of your VRIC and uh, looking forward to working with you. Thank you. <laughs>